DNA has an anti-parallel directionality, meaning the nucleic acid sequences go in opposite directions. In other words, one strand runs in the 3' prime to 5' prime direction, and the other strand runs in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. The anti-parallel structure of DNA is very important in DNA replication because it replicates the leading strain in one direction and the lagging strain in the opposite direction. DNA helicase enzymatically unwinds the DNA and separates each strand. The leading strand is the parent strand of DNA that runs in the 3' prime to 5' prime direction towards the replication fork and it is able to easily be replicated continuously. On the other hand, we also have the lagging strand, which is the parent strand that runs in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction away from the fork and is replicated discontinuously, also known as discontinuous construction. The lagging strand is not replicated continuously because it is synthesized in short segments called Okazaki fragments. Then, DNA polymerase replicates the leading and lagging strands simultaneously. Each nucleotide is then paired with its complementary base pair. In DNA replication, adenine always pairs with thymine and cytosine always pairs with guanine. This models semi-conservative semi replication because it shows two copies of DNA that contained one parent strand and one new strand. Transcription is the process in which RNA is synthesized using a DNA template strand. mRNA's job is to carry the genetic information copied from DNA in the form of a sequence of three base codes. As the DNA enters RNA polymerase, the DNA parent strand is paired with its RNA complementary base pairs. Adenine will be paired with uracil instead of thymine, and cytosine will be paired with guanine. As the complementary bases are paired, the mRNA strand is formed and continues to grow. Also, while DNA is double-stranded, RNA is single-stranded due to the fact that it contains the sugar ribose instead of deoxyribose. There are also extra nucleotides on the mRNA sequences before the start codon, methionine, and after the stop codon. And lastly, transcription factors activate and regulate the transcription of genes. Translation is the synthesis of a protein from an RNA template. The three types of RNA are messenger RNA, ribosomal RNA, and transfer RNA. Messenger RNA is a temporary copy of the information found in DNA. Ribosomal RNA is the structural component of ribosomes which make proteins. And transfer RNA carries the amino acids to the ribosome so that they can be assembled. Inside a tRNA molecule will be an anticodon that ensures that the amino acid being carried is added to the growing polypeptide chain. Star codons are three nucleotides that initiate polypeptide formation. The A site, or acceptor site, is where the new incoming tRNA binds to the mRNA. The amino acids then link together by peptide bonds and form the polypeptide chain at the P site. The E site, or exit site is the third and final binding site where tRNA is released by the ribosome. The stop codons then signal for transcription termination once the last tRNA was copied. <laughs>